Today I'll be explaining vertical exaggeration and how to calculate vertical exaggeration. But before we can do that, we need to understand what a cross-section is and how to draw a cross-section. Now, I'm not going to draw a cross-section today, but you can click the link down in the description section below and it will take you straight to my video on how to draw a cross-section. But I'll explain the concept just quickly. Let's say you have a loaf of bread and you look at this loaf of bread right from the top. Okay, my artistic skills are not really that great, but let's say this is what your loaf of bread looks like when you look at it from the top. Now it's possible to cut this piece of bread in half. And then what you'd see is what it looks like from the side. And this is what we call a cross section. So it might look something like this. Normally it goes wider at the top and then this is more or less what it looks like. So the same thing happens when we draw a cross section of a piece of land. What we basically do is we cut that piece of land in half and then we look at it from the side. Now that we understand what a cross section is, we need to ask ourselves what is vertical exaggeration and why do we use it? Now what we need to bear in mind is when we take a cross section of a certain area and we make it smaller so it can fit onto a piece of paper we obviously make it smaller many many times and then what we very often see is that it's so difficult to identify things like mountains valleys slopes and so on and that is why we exaggerate the vertical scale so these things will be more easy to identify. I'm going to show you a quick example. So if you're an athlete and you're preparing for a marathon and once you've entered then what they normally do is they send you a cross section of the route so you'll be able to see where you'll be running up and where you'll be going down and um, if we don't use vertical exaggeration, in other words, if we don't exaggerate the vertical scale, then it will be quite difficult for you to see where you'll be going up and where you'll be going down. And it will look something um, like this. Maybe it's not the perfect example. If you take a quick look at this, the line is more, well, it's not really straight, but it's hard to see where you'll be going up where you'll be going down and so what they do is they exaggerate the vertical scale and um, send you a cross section of that so what you see here at the bottom is an example of the same area the same cross section but the vertical scale has been exaggerated so when we calculate vertical exaggeration it's important to memorize the formula and the formula is the following Vertical exaggeration equals vertical scale over horizontal scale. Now your teacher will give you two different scales. And the first one is the vertical scale. And let's say the vertical scale is 4 millimeters equals 20 meters. And your horizontal scale is 1 to 50,000. Now what we want to do next is convert this scale into something similar to this scale because we want to compare apples with apples. So firstly we need to convert meters to millimeters and so let's start but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this slightly uh, differently because we are doing a division calculation here and so what we'll do is the following we will say um, 4 millimeters equals 20,000 millimeters divided by 1 to 50,000. So we are working in millimeters here. And now what we need to do next is we need to simplify what we see here. So we are going to divide by 4 here and divide by 4 on this side. And what we'll have is the following 1 and 20,000 divided by 4 is 5,000. So now we have five, 1 to 5,000 divided by 1 to 50,000. So we don't actually need the brackets. But what now we are going to write it 
um, as a fraction again. And so we have 1 divided by 5,000 divided by 1 over 50,000. And now what we do in maths is when we do a division sum like this is we swap these two numbers and then we uh, do a multiplication sum. So now we have 50,000 divided by 5,000 and what we'll get is 10. So the vertical exaggeration is 10 times. So what does this mean? It simply means that the vertical scale has been exaggerated 10 times so that we'll be able to see those mountains and hills and slopes and valleys and, and so on. So this is how simple it is. Thanks very much for watching once again. Feel free to subscribe and see you next time. Goodbye.